Fire 27 play. BVC was uh, side graded. It's now a bolt of hands instead of a 3x3 three three grouping of hands. So there are some situations where that worse, that that's worse. There's some situations where it's better. Can I just can I just do this? Will this actually work? Kind of. There we go. I think everything on the floor is dead, so he's not going to summon anything else. Yes, we are, but um, we're actually using him for a more immediate purpose. What is friending? Uh, it's where you make a best friend forever. <laughs> oh, that's cute. He locked it. So I'd really like to ignition here, but no such luck. Okay, we have to figure out a way to do this. We have to figure out a way to do this without killing the Convoker. Maybe I can take a step and take a step. Please don't do tons of damage to me and take a step. And why is he moving so fucking fast? Bro, I'm flying. I move at point nine. Give me a give me a tile here. Alright, um. Tell you what we're gonna do is we're gonna enslave. Okay, can I maybe? Nope, I opened the door. It didn't work. How many fear do I have? I have five fear. I just don't trust this this guy in melee with me. Okay, maybe maybe I do trust it in melee with me. That'll kill him. Just kidding, irradiates nerfed. <sighs> oh my fucking god. I could fireball myself, but if it doesn't kill him, we're in. Oh, I see. That's why he didn't die. I'm dumb. They, uh, part of the damage is going to the preserver. I could starburst. The problem is it could miss. Whoa, I did not mean to swing there. Uh, yeah, we'll starburst. Because that can hit the. Green guy as well. Okay, yeah, that was that was done very poorly, by the way. Basically. It's an awkward situation with the That's what we call positional. By positional you mean horribly obnoxious. Okay, so um We'll mark down on the annotations that he's up there. I think that the only things left in here ought to be things that are not intelligent, which is the stuff that he can't call. Uh, there's a shapeshifter, I suppose. This is fine, though. Very resistant to fire and cold. I'm going to try to melee this guy. Oh. So we had reduced his AC with a radiate, and then it, we, we bounced his metal splinters, and of course his AC was reduced, so they proceeded to kill him. Kind of funny, I suppose. It's Vols, it's Vols 5 time. First of all, we're going to stop flying. Um, the airstrike risk is now too high. Secondly, we're going to look at our fire magic, which, holy poop, almost 27. Um, yeah. 
I just wish we could get our defenses higher. 22 AC, 19 EV. This is this is the kind of floor where you just kind of die if you uh, if you make mistakes on this character, and maybe even if you don't. I almost want to bribe, but then that kind of ruins the the ignition play. Let's call a merchant. Scroll shop. We already did slime. Slime is done. Telly with an acquirement. Call merchant. Scroll shop. No blink. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there is a acquirement uh, trove, so we're not going to bother buying this yet. Uh, is this a 15 runer? I typically don't do 15 runers unless I'm doing some kind of tutorial or have some kind of tournament reason to do it, so probably not. Um, I mean, I could turn it into one if people really wanted to see it, and maybe if I was maybe if I was bribed, but otherwise I just find extended to be so hilariously tedious outside of bee crawl that I just kind of don't want to do it. All right, that's cool. We found potion of magic. I guess I actually will go ahead and buy acquirement because we can look at what we have available. Scarf of Resistance, I guess, would be cool, but... Okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna drop this. We'll go get it later. We don't need silence. I mean, we already have it, don't we? No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Silence is already available in a book. Well, the hells are just a huge slog, is the thing. I mean, I, I like the theming of those areas, I just find them so tiring to go through. Um, the way that B-Crawl fixed this is they made every single hell only two floors, and they made it to where uh, you have to pick up the rune to leave the hell if you go in. So it's a very wild ride, and it's not one that motivates you to go in, go out, go in, go out, go in, go out, until the RNG kind of plays nice with the hell effects. You just have to go in and do it, and the counterbalance to that is it's no longer a horrid seven floor, you know, dive. Um, you know, tell Hellcrawl did it. How did they do it? I know that they took away upstairs. But I think that's insufficient if you don't reduce the size of the branch. Wow. You do hells during orb run? That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember that actually. Perhaps I should have drank resistance. Or not resistance, I should have drank haste. This is okay. This sh Everything should die if I do this. Uh, everything next to me. Except for maybe the... Ogre mage. Shall I just hold down enter? pretty good. This is probably the place where it shines the most. But believe me, it could ruin my day. Well, Shatter does less damage, actually, if, if things are insufficiently dense, and it doesn't really do anything to things that are flying. So, like, while I agree Shatter is super duper fun, Ignition is um, the better spell in at least some situations. Holy poop, that's a lot of damage. A dragon. Mm, it's not really a dragon I want to try to duke it out with. There's a surprising amount of damage on the table right now, only from two enemies. This can do 3d20, so let's say 60. And this can do 75-ish, uh, 72, minus my r of course. So this, if I didn't have resistance, this would be enough to kill me. We're actually going to go up. And we, we just took a huge amount of damage from another... Uh, Dispelling Bolt. Pretty wild, right? No hatch. No hatch. Okay. Um, we're going to invis. We're going to haste. We're going to go down. Okay, interesting. I think we're actually going to open up with a... Uh, 
Condenser vein. Fuck, it's poison. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to learn Ignite Poison. <laughs> I keep getting memed. Okay, Starburst is actually better here. Just more damage, I assume, for this particular particular configuration. All the stuff I'm afraid of is in line of fire to all this crap, so we're gonna do it and watch it slowly do its thing. Three exclamation points on the bolt for the Titan. Sadly, it missed the dragon, but that's okay. I don't know, Green Eggs and Slam. They better remove it. It's now it's a no-brainer. It actually kind of is if you find Condenser Fane. Uh, that was their argument for regen that most characters want it, so they better remove it. I guess they better remove Ignite Poison now. <laughs> Not an actual suggestion. Yeah, this is so scary, dude. Like, Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. And then Hellfire. We do ignition, he gets hit by two of them. That probably kills him. It might even, believe it or not, it might even kill the Titan. Because he's a little bit injured and he's going to take three ignitions. So, let's do it. Almost, he's self-healed. Hmm. Hey, yo, hold up. 3d24 damage. Why is that grayed out, I wonder? Okay, so we have bolt of draining potential, uh, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Not good. I think maybe we go ahead and fog here. Because I, I, want, I want to fireball this guy. But I also don't want to take a ton of damage. It's gray because necromancy, that's new. I guess that's okay. Somewhat confusing. I almost want to put a fulminant prism up there. Let's see if we can't finish this guy with a fireball. Just just dab on his ass. Oh, we got him. We got him, baby. All right, now in my ideal world, I wait two turns. This guy comes next to me. For whatever reason, the Shadow Dragon doesn't do anything. And uh, we just kind of drag him up and, and kill him on his own. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, what I think I might do instead is ensure that this Tengu Reaver bites the dust by uh, filing him. Missed him, actually. That's really interesting. the chance of descent on him? 66. It's not ideal. Uh, it's the only ranged attack we have that's guaranteed to have a chance to hit him. Um, wait, that's a funny thing to say. It's guaranteed to have a chance to hit him. I guess, I guess everything is guaranteed to have a chance to hit him. I could use uh, Tremor Stones, but I, I feel like 66 is probably the best we're going to have. So we're going to do that. We're going to blow him up. Very good. Mastered fire magic. Malcolm Rose, the Infernalist. Based. Pretty good. I think it's probably time to train shields to 15. Having a bigger shield would be really quite good on this character. Um, you know what I should do is I should just drink magic. I have so many magic potions. Potions? I just said that like a Canadian. Mm. Um, or maybe like I was from North Dakota, perhaps. Drink attraction. Mm, let me get right on that. I think maybe it's time to go up, read Telly, and go down. However, I am uh, I'm already hasted. I don't know if I want to waste that as the thing. We want to get the most bang for our buck, essentially, out of the um, consumables we've already used, but... Uh, I don't know. If I go up, there's going to be so much garbage waiting to do damage to me. I 
think we're going to go ahead and read Telly, actually, and just stay down here. Um, I'm tempted to walk up and to the right so that this Shadow Dragon can continue not to see me. What are the downsides of Gozag now that hunger isn't a thing? Uh, can't use necromancy. I mean, what are the downsides of any god is the thing. Most gods don't have that many downsides. What are, what are the downsides of using Oka? You know? You can't damage your allies, I guess. What are the downsides of using Uskawa? But yeah, Gozak is very strong. There's no question about that. Okay, let's go ahead and drink magic. Something I should have done a while ago. Ah, crap. There's more damage on the table because of the Sphinx. How many heal wounds do we have? We have 16, so we're okay. We're, we're pretty much okay. I think I'm going to do this and try to kill the the Reaver. Oh, it missed both. Wow. Man, forget this. We have ignition for a reason. Let's make use of it and hopefully kill the Sphinx. Nice. Priest is dead. That's less damage on the table. Bolt of Drain. Boo! One more time, baby. Okay, we teleported. This is cool. Let's take a step. Let's take a step. Oh, uh-oh. These things are going to wake up. I'm not going to have time. I'll drink more magic. We have javelins, which, by the way, we should make sure we do the most important thing. So this has been a slightly more resource-intensive Vaults 5 than usual, but no horribly terrifying situations. Just some mildly scary ones. I think there may have been a couple turns there where technically it was, uh, death was possible. Hey, Adort. That's right. We are the bane of worms. Can you kill me? I think you might be able to kill me. Um, Crystal Spear 3D48. Huh, that one only does 144 as usual. I saw one, I swear I saw one that did like 3D50 something. Maybe he had Archmage Robe on or something. Um. Iron shot. Wait a minute, 3D44. Shit, he can kill me. Am I doing crypt? Uh, maybe. I don't. This character is doing so well, he doesn't really need it. Um, but I might. 88. 132, right? Is that 132? 4, 8, 12. 120 plus 12, 132, yeah. Denser vein wasn't all that useful. Uh, Pokemane. Give me a Pokemon, please. He just threw a rock, I think, and hit the Lich. He's just trying to throw it through the Lich. Thanks, bro. Thanks for the help, Stone Giant. I swear, something wacky has changed with the targeting. I don't think they used to do that. I have this feeling like they have broken... They have broken something rather important in the game. <laughs> yes, I am marked. But I'm in kind of the best place to be marked. Except for the fact that there's like two things that can do tons of electricity damage to me. 
I don't like it. Thank you, Tony, for the wonderful suggestions. I'm going to drink haste. I'm going to drink heal wounds. No place is a good place to be marked in. Zot 5, or Vaults 5. That's um, generally true, but the fact that we're in this cute little hallway with ignition available and with uh, starburst available is, I, I have to I have to say, it's pretty... If I had to be marked somewhere in here, this would be the place to choose. <laughs> Frail Tingu, true. True, that's a problem. I'm more concerned with getting like heavily bolted. I'm getting very unlucky with like these these sort of twinsies dickheads, you know. In fact, I'm gonna fog now. And we're gonna chug down some of our many, many curings. Hell yeah, Wormbane. Okay, box of beasts, take a step. If I'm next to a stone giant now, I guess I wouldn't like that to be the case. Make a copy of him. What was that? Why did that flash? Oh, something hits my stone giant from off screen, that's fine. I really don't want to be constricted. Don't want that. Let's, um... Man, I'm tempted to drink yet another magic. Sure wish we had Ice Blast. Let's just acid this guy. There we go. I see that we have a Tinker Reaver here. My, my mark is gone, so we're gonna begin the extraction process. <laughs> Hey bro, you're you're corroded. Let me do real damage to you, please. There we go. Nice. Uh... Okay, this is cool, I guess. He can do how much damage can he do to me? Ninety. Okay. You don't want to walk up to me for some reason? Irradiate to take his AC down. Cool. Plus 16 Lance of Wormbane. Storm Dragons are simply not strong enough anymore to charge up the... Fuck. What was that? It's Airstrike. Just read about the clown cars, you're a little mad. Yes, I, um, so there is this, um, there is this African-American gentleman who is in my Discord who, uh, was accused of being a white supremacist by the white liberal developers of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup over, uh, like, uh, clan name for the tournament. And, uh, it's the height of hypocrisy because it was, uh, it was a clan name that happened to have, have a lot of words that started with K, uh, and they tried to accuse him of purposefully saying, like, making it look like KKK, which was not the point, by the way. Uh, it had to do with kobolds. It was a joke about, uh, what was it called? The kobold kings or something. And uh, it was essentially a joke about kobolds being, uh, like, using, using the letter K a lot, which I've... Uh, kind of oh yeah he spelled it was cuckold cobalt kings and he spelled it with a k um but i guess that letter is uh big big and scary but it's actually incredibly uh, hypocritical because the same dev who was involved in banning him put in killer clown cars cars spelled with a k in the game now this is all very stupid and is obviously not racist especially since the dude is uh you know black himself so it's uh, kind of rich to accuse of him being a uh, white supremacist. Um, it's kind of 
kind of ridiculous, you might say. Even more so than the uh, shit these people usually pull. So anyway, long story short, they banned him from the tournament. Um, and said the most, like, insulting and ridiculous thing in response to him asking about it, uh, which is something like, how did it go? Um, there is no appeals process. Uh, actually, I want to, hold up, I want to get this quote right, because it was fucking outrageous. Just, just a really good, um, a really good example of exactly how egotistical and pig-headed and dick-headed these people are. Uh, okay, first of all, um, this is Ebering, one of the developers of DCSS. Uh, this is his explanation for uh, banning this guy. He says, uh, incorrectly, he says, your clan name abbreviated to KKK and the last word was clan. It was not. That's a lie. Uh, he then proceeds to say, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is a well-known movie that Crawl's Clowns are referenced to. There is no appeals process and the decision is final. What an asshole. So, um, first of all, he, he lies here. It was, it was cuckold cobalt kings, which is just, it's just like a funny little phrase. It had nothing to do with KKK. It's just, it just happened to work out that way because cobalt starts with a K. Um, secondly, clan was nowhere in the name of that, uh, that group, um, the, his, his, uh, tournament team, tournament team name. But most of all, just the, the mind blowing hypocrisy of, oh, well, I, I'm allowed to do it because my thing is a reference to a movie. Well, his thing is a reference to, to fucking kobolds from, like, D&D &D or even from the game. And it's just like a funny phrase. It just sounds funny. It's nothing to do with racism. It's nothing to do with race at all unless you want to consider kobolds a race. Um, you know, fictional, fictional thing. Um, and it's just... It's rules for me, but not for thee from these people. 24-7... And I think that you could rightfully ask the question, you know, maybe, maybe the devs are projecting. Is it possible that maybe they're the ones with the problem with, uh, with race and whatnot? And they're always trying to shove this on other people because perhaps, you know, the question is worth asking. Is it, is it possible that maybe they're just fucking projecting? Hey, Green Eggs and Slam, very good. Airstrike is fun. You can build a whole, whole game uh, around Airstrike, actually. But it's, it's, it's exceptionally frustrating because I can't, I mean, I'm, I'm a white guy. Uh, I mean, I'm half Slavic, so apparently those are considered people of color now, according to some groups. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blonde haired and blue eyed. You could not mistake me for uh, somebody who isn't white. But the point is that, like, I cannot imagine how frustrating it must be for a black dude to hear from some, you know, egotistical dickhead white liberal academic that he's being racist that he's being white supremacist i mean it, it's the height of hubris and uh like uh, i know best and you know nothing for him to to say you know to my friend uh that that he's a white supremacist it's also just crazy it doesn't make sense But when you're in a position of power like, uh, like Ebering and the rest of the dev team is, uh, you get to say and do whatever fucked up things to the point of lying about people. He, he lied. Uh, Advil, another, another developer for DCSS, um, actually said that it was a... Uh, actually, I want to make sure... Hold on, hold on a second. I want to make sure... Uh, I want to make sure that I'm quoting correctly. Give me one second here. This is, I don't want to get this wrong. I would, I would not, I would not want to get it wrong. I want to make sure that I'm roasting these people for the things that they actually said and not, not for things that they didn't say. Um, Cause it's, it's very, it's very important. Unlike them, I give a shit about, um, about, about being, uh, even, even towards my enemies, so to speak, or people that I don't like, I give a shit about being truthful. They don't care about the truth. I do. I think it's important not to lie about people because these people can be criticized very much for the stuff they've actually said. Um, so let, let's see, what did he say? So Advil says, in public, in the Roguelikes Discord, to an audience of probably thousands, he lies about my friend and he says... Um, 
that he was banned, and, and I, here's where the quote starts, by having an explicit white supremacist call out in your clan name. What is it about cuckold cobalt kings that is explicitly white supremacist? That is fucked up to accuse somebody of that, to say explicit white supremacist call out to a black guy, by the way. He's talking about a black guy. Um, and, and yet, you know, you notice, by the way, he doesn't actually say what the name is. He doesn't say the name so that people can judge for themselves if he's being, you know, ridiculous or hysterical or histrionic or maybe even abusive. He doesn't say the name. He simply throws out the accusation, a horrible accusation, which is capable of ruining a man's reputation quite easily just by virtue of being voiced. Um, he just throws out the accusation and it is treated as fact by everybody in their little sycophantic, far-huffing group. And for me, that's incredibly frustrating. It's actually more frustrating to see it happen to somebody, uh, you know, in, in my periphery, basically, because uh, they had the audacity to watch my streams or whatever. Um, so they must be they must be evil and the enemy, you know? Um, but yeah, well, that's the thing, Tony. You know people like this and you stay away, but the problem develops when these people have power in a community. Somebody like Advil, somebody like Ebring, there is, there is no consequence at all, even socially. There should be social consequences for doing this shit. People should move to forks. People should, you know, not accept the fact that they are in power in this community. Um, and, and yet, they just kind of put up with it, uh, I guess, for political reasons. But I gotta tell you, I, you know, I'm sure that they wouldn't like it if these kinds of lies were being told about them. Um, but it's okay in their minds to do it to other people. It's the, the height of hypocrisy. It's monstrous. It's abusive. It's almost sadistic. And it shouldn't be tolerated. You know, put, to, put, to, to put it as simply as possible, just shouldn't be tolerated. Um, but they have appointed themselves the arbiter of what can and cannot be said. Um, they have appointed themselves the arbiter of what is and isn't racist, apparently, to the point where they feel like they can go up to like a black person and say, oh, you're white supremacist. One of the most ridiculous things you could do. It's just silly. It would, I mean, I would, I would laugh if it wasn't so messed up that these people have the genuine power to throw people out of this community, you know? The current crawl devs are literally pushing people of color out of the community. That's a fact. That's a fact, apparently. Uh, I can name at least two that are just fed up with this shit right now uh, in my Discord alone. I'm sure they're not I'm sure they're not the only ones, you know. I tell you, it is for these people, I am convinced it was it was never about not being racist. It was never about equality. It's all about power, dude. These people just want power over you. Even if it's the pettiest form of power you could imagine, which is being a fucking moderator on the internet. Of a, of a tiny community, that's what they want. It's all about power. It's about clout. It's about their egos. It's about fart huffing. I'm so cool and I'm so virtuous and you're not, and I get to decide, I get to decide if you're a racist based on whatever arbitrary uh, criteria I decide on that day. That's, that's essentially as best as I can tell their their headspace um really really infuriating um just just tiring to deal with welcome to the brap squad based uh i am into i am into brap hogs i don't know about you well, yeah, exactly. It's the most dumb shit excuse I've heard in my life. They're allowed to have something that abbreviates to KKK because of some kind of mealy-mouthed, oh, it's from a movie. But somebody else does the same thing, not even intentionally. Not even intentionally. I mean, he's he's a black dude. Do you think he was trying to make that reference? Honestly? <laughs> does that make sense? That that, that that was the point of making the, the tournament team name? D does it Does that really make logical sense to anybody in this chat right now? Um, but, but if you're allowed to call that racist simply because of the, the first letter of the three words, you know, rather than the fact that it's just like a sort of a form of alliteration, um, if you're allowed to say, oh, well, that had to have been intended to be racist, then if that logic is what applies, then, then Ebering and the rest of the dev team was racist 
for putting killer clown cars and spelling cars with a K. You can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. It's either one or the other. So what's it? Which one is it? You know, and, and, and believe me, I don't expect these fucking assholes to be consistent or to apply the same set of rules to other people as to themselves. But I'm just pointing out that the logic, the logic stands there. Either, either one is racist and therefore the other is racist or neither are racist. There's, there's no, you don't get a pass just because you're like some kind of, uh, leader of a community or owner of a community on the internet. Like the rules should be the same for everybody. I think I'd like to think that, that, that most people should agree or would agree that that these kinds of social rules shouldn't be different just because you have access to the keys of the GitHub or whatever, you know, and are friends with the 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 people who run the game or, or one of the people who run the game. Uh, killer clown car. Yeah, it's like um, you know the little. Do you know the little um, traps that spawn a bunch of spiders on your head? It's like that only it drops like nine. Uh, nine clowns on you. You've probably never seen it because I think they're pretty, they spawn pretty rarely. Yeah, it's only in like one vault. But I mean, I tell you, when, when you're banning letters of the alphabet, you know, maybe, maybe it's time to, maybe it's time to reflect on your ridiculous choices in life at that point. They tried to accuse that guy of being me, by the way. And it's funny because he's a dude who's been in the community for at least a year. But apparently I'm to blame for all, all the evil in the world, even the evil that's not evil. Yeah, today we learned that some alliteration is immoral, I guess. Fuck you! Based. Fuck you! You fucking no-brain pussy! Fuck you! Dude, that's, that's, that's the big mood right now, I guess. That, uh, that gentleman in the car. Well, it's just, it's just, what's really funny is that they accused me of being that guy, but he was participating in the tournament at the same time as me. So I guess I'm like an octopus. I'm an octopode in real life and I have two computers and I'm just kind of like double handing characters at the same time. Somehow, I guess I'm that fucking good. That'd be pretty cool, actually, if I could, if I could pull that off. <laughs> Live rent free in their in their heads. Oh, that's absolutely true. That is absolutely true. I mean, you could make the argument that these people have jumped the shark, jumped the sanity shark, so to speak. Double streaking God. Uh, I don't know how well that guy. I don't know if he was streaking or not. I think he may have gotten some high scores or something. People were talking. Oh, here's what's really messed up. Um, not only did they delete his uh, name off the site, his uh, his group name. They're, they were talking about, apparently they were talking about, well, we got we to gotta take his high scores away because that name was offensive. So let's take him off. Let's take him out of the tournament database entirely. And by the way, the name is not even offensive. It's about fucking kobolds. What are you like from a kobold advo advocacy group? You know, I, I don't think kobolds exist in real life. They might. I guess we don't know for sure. Sorry to offend any kobolds in the chat. Think your streak is a meme because the chat tells you what to do. That's like one guy who believes that. I, I, I thankfully have not heard that nonsense from from more more than one dude, really. Have I ever been to New York? Hey, I have been at a New York airport. It's a really bad time. Okay, um, are we done ranting? I guess you didn't have to code Twitch Plays DCSS after all. Yes, this is just Twitch Plays DCSS. Um, well, actually, that's kind of funny. So, kobolds, um, were, do were, were little dog people, um, short little dog people in the earliest versions of D&D, &D, and then they kind of turned into short little lizard people. I prefer them. My version of the kobold from my, uh, from my books is the lizard version, but... Uh, I like to think of them as having really big fat bellies and being like horribly offensive and, um, you know, basically, basically thinking that they're, lord they're lording themselves. They're able to lord over other people of different species, but they're so, um, you know, kobolds are like weak, so they can't actually, uh, 
enforce this and they kind of bite off more than they can chew. So one of the funny little tropes that I've uh, put into my book is that one of the countries actually keeps kobolds as pets and they think that they are the owners, uh, like they, they have the, uh, you know, the power in the household and, and they're actually uh, in charge, but they're actually like the pets of the humans. He actually took the bait about kobolds. I took bait about kobolds? Oh no. So they're cats then? Essentially, they're like cats that can talk. But at the same time, I mean, in, in, in the minds of the kobolds in my book universe, they, they're they actually being quite clever because they have, they have tricked this whole nation of people, at least in their minds, they have tricked this whole nation of people into feeding and housing them, and now they don't have to do any work. <laughs> a snake bite. That would have been cool earlier. Khajiit. Uh, no. Khajiits are very different than my kobolds. Khajiits are always trying to sell you things in Elder Scrolls, aren't they? Literally cats. I suppose they have a bit in common with cats. Were they? I thought that was the lizard dudes. I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not super uh, super familiar with the Elder Scrolls universe. Uh, that's correct. No no firestorm. Oh, just kidding. We have firestorm. Yeah, we maxed out on Wormbane, so no, there really is not much of a reason to go to Crypt unless I just really want experience for some reason. Okay, um... Yeah, weren't, uh, weren't the orc, the, um, weren't the orcs also enslaved in, in Elder Scrolls? And they keep trying to raid the other civilizations and having their cities destroyed or something? I remember in, uh, I remember in Skyrim they had the really cool green armor. See, I don't understand. I never played Morrowind, so maybe you guys can make me understand. Uh, I thought the Dark Elves were basically constantly getting their asses kicked, and like their whole homeland basically got blown up, so how is it that they were able to enslave anybody? Morrowind was a game full of assholes. <laughs> Is it time for me to maybe think about switching to a different body armor? Yeah, Tony. Oh, because of the events in Morrowind, I see. Was, uh... Was, was Morrowind actually a part of the Empire, or were they something separate? It's such a big world. I wonder how they keep all that straight. They don't. Mm. I just kind of figured there would be inconsistencies. Let's just cast Firestorm for fun. Based. wish we could tab a little harder. Actually, I just, I wish we had some kind of bolt magic that uh, wasn't fire damage. Wish it'd get games that weren't Skyrim. So why didn't, why did you not like Skyrim? My problem with it was that it felt it felt really repetitive personally. Or did you are you just saying you wanted to see more more places? 
Well, you know, canonically, uh, elsewhere is literally just a, a box with one one Khajiit in it. They've released it like five times. Did they did they re-release it a bunch? I never really kept track of that, but it did kind of seem like they were they were releasing forty different versions of it. You know, Atlas does that crap too with Persona games. Didn't the Lizardmen start invading Oblivion or something? <laughs> and the demons had to uh, had to close the portals because the the Lizardmen were crushing them. Based Lizardmen. Mr. Lich. We're going to regain some HP. Step on that trap. I mean, we could. It's just going to be spiders. Kill them instantly, you know, with the... Uh, Oh, hello. I didn't even check the ghost. Force Lance, huh? Resistant to fire. The Daedrus ran away from the lizards. Yeah, they couldn't take that, that lizard action. How are we, how are we gonna kill orbs of fire? Is it just gonna be a radiate? Is that the... is that really the play? my stick. I mean, if we might it and haste it, there's a chance it would work. Thought the plan was Orb of Destruction. Well, it was, but you'll note that we haven't found that. I do agree that'd be pretty cool. Son of a bitch. Uh, fog. Okay, we know his book now. Damn it. Damn it. There he is. Do we have summon horrible things? Um, I mean, I have, like, I have, like, no summon training, so I was kind of hoping to get away with not doing it at all. Yeah, we talked about getting Dragon Call. There we go. for that last minute. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just going through. Firestorm can technically kill orbs. That's true. I mean, yeah, we could just take Conjurations to 27 and Firestore them. I could also get a bunch of shops, or I could just bribe my way through, you know? Just get the, get the orb and leave and not even bother to kill too many things. That's right. Gotta go for the memes. No, I haven't done Crypt. Whoa! You guys! You guys! You guys! <laughs> There's a Pearl Dragon scale. You don't see that very often. A little more heavy, unfortunately, than what I'm wearing, but... Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna lose three EV, but gain like uh, 
21, 22, gain two AC. I gotta spend all my gold on the meme armor. Hey, I like having more resist negative. What can I say? What? That, yeah, that's true. The bookshops are pretty unreliable. I feel okay. The, the thing is that this, this character really can just melee orbs of fire if he, if he buffs up on every single one. Yes, that's why we're training nothing but conjurations now. Um, why does it think that I can't get to elf? I don't understand. Enchant armor. Go here, please. Anyway, can you really blame me for not being able to resist the siren song of Pearl Dragon Scale? It's so good, you guys. Or riot. Mm. It's too bad we don't have four more enchant armor. Hell, I kind of want to get a shop just to get a scroll shop. I guess we're now in a situation where uh, there are two different kinds of shops we'd be happy with. What's my gloves? Gloves of dex. Would I trade those for strength? Hell no. If it was fully enchanted, maybe. Whoa, plus 13 plate armor. Too bad it's quite heavy. It's too heavy. I don't want to try to cast Firestorm and Plate. We're already, we've already memed ourselves a little bit. Um, oh, by the way, what the hell am I doing, dude? I'm wearing decently heavy armor now. Let's take armor to 10. We don't need MR. We have, we have uh, four wins, remember? Oh, that plate would be outrageous in any, any other run. It did not have clarity on it. Whoops, I should not be using fire against this. It had arc corrosion, that's what you saw. Will you not be clearing crypt? This character can clear it quickly. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, I mean, I should. It would be optimal to do. Um, that's just, I'm, I'm trying to win relatively quickly. I mean, if you really want to see me do Crypt, I can. Um, and I agree, we, we would we would win in it really quickly, I suppose. It just doesn't feel like the character needs it. What I was planning on doing was getting down to... Um, I was planning on getting down to Depths 5 and then seeing where my skills were at, basically. How do I kill curse skulls? Um, irradiate plus uh, tree form. That's pretty easy on this character, actually. Just use staff form. Mm. A severe lack of fog and tree potions? No, we have a billion, and we have a billion fogs. I'm not worried about crypt at all. We'll crush it. We'll crush every single aspect of crypt very easily. It's literally just a time saver for me to not do it. Um, it's 
pretty rare for a character to not be able to do crypt safely at this point. Relatively safely. I mean, sometimes it's harder, but... It is pretty much, um, probably 99% of the time, optimal for you to go ahead and do crypt. Um, so unsure about our ability to kill orbs. No, I'm very sure about my ability to kill orbs. Um, the only problem I would have with orbs is... Uh, is, is really if we end up in a situation where we're like, we have to fight more than one at once, but uh, in general you want to get out of that situation anyway. And because blink scrolls... Okay, I'll tell you this. If Probably if they hadn't changed it to allow blinking in Zot, I think you might see me doing crypt right now. And I guess I do only have two blink scrolls, so maybe if we get to the end of depths and haven't found any others, I, I might I might actually do crypt. Um, okay, armor is ten now. Armor is ten now. Let's uh, take conjurations to twenty-seven like a true madman. Yeah, it's outrageous. I, it's really made the branch easier. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that change. After after spending a long time playing with the version you know because at first I, I didn't like I didn't like the uh, I didn't like that addition but after playing with it for quite some time I can I consider it fine uh, at least up until the point where killer clowns pies were added 41% chance of fi a firestorm failing I don't think so. Ghost could have it. Oh yeah, I see. Well, that that's fine. We would just uh, we would just read silence at that point. But he copied himself. Um. Boo! Fire clouds. I wanna I wanna be uh, irradiating this guy. Is there any way that you're the real one? Nope, you didn't come up the stairs with me. Okay, there it is. How much damage? Three? Oh, he doesn't have the firestorm. He just has a big fireball. God damn it. Okay... Um, <laughs> okay, finally. Uh, Mara is male, so a little bit of a misfire there. Mara has actually always been male, and I believe is based on a male, uh, deity or maybe demon from Hindu mythology. a Hindu goddess. What? Totally separate statements. from Buddhist. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I believe that Mara has been male from the very beginning of DCSS whenever uh, he was added in, so I am totally fine with that. Um, what annoys me is when they take a previously uh, male character and change it to female for no good reason, or they take a character from mythology like Sajobo, who is the very much male king of the Tengu, 
and uh, change that character to female for basically no reason. Uh, I find that to be very lazy, very lazy writing and politically motivated in a rather obnoxious way. And considering what we've talked about with regards to the way that they treat uh, people in their community by uh, calling them white supremacist for no particularly good reason and hypocritically doing the things that they punish others for. Um, it's just kind of hard to take seriously. I, I wouldn't respect it really under any circumstances, but I could at least... Um, I would, I would disrespect it perhaps a little more if they were at least consistent and not horrible hypocrites. I thought Nobunaga was like an actual historical figure, a uh, male samurai. He was? Oh, that's the joke. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, we must cast the firestorm. Then anime happened. Ah yes, anime. Anime ruins everything. This is now an anime free zone. Any anime any anime talk will be banned. Any images of anime linked in the chat will be banned. Anyone who insufficiently genuflects before the altar of the crawl devs will be banned. And called racist. Anime is white supremacist. Mmm, yes. We're basically living in a world where uh, white supremacist is defined as anything that mildly annoys a, a white liberal. Isn't my AVI on YouTube an anime character? Ah, my hypocrisy is, is revealed! No! Um, actually, my AVI on... on... Uh, my avatar, my avatar on, on YouTube is... is a piece of art drawn in anime style, which is of Doan and uh, Devesa. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rosecrypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.